Hey everybody. I hope everybody's doing well this evening. I wanted to start off with a, a bit of an egg check. I don't think we have anything brewing today, which, you know, that's fine. That's fine. I know you're being stingy with them, girl. They're fluffing the nest though, but I did find this. And this has actually been over here for like a couple days. But I thought that it was like a petal. See, we have a cemetery right up the road from us. Oh, no, 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 no. That's that. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I thought. That's an egg. Okay, so this little thing has been sitting over by the wall for a couple of days. And I thought that it was. A piece of like an artificial flower because they pick at those when they land in the chicken yard and then up, upon closer examination today and upon this little the uh, we see that it's actually an egg so I think that this was actually the first egg that was laid laid lane laid I don't even know but anyway this is I think this was actually the first one and it's really like leathery as you can see it has no structure it doesn't even look like the yolk is fully formed I was gonna let the dogs have it it's been in there for a couple days I don't know if I should let the dogs have it or not Ooh, gruesome so Oh, smelly. I'm just going to leave it right there so they can smell it. That's gross. I'm not going to let them have that. But Yeah, so I think that was actually the first leg, egg t that was laid. And that was, uh, it's been there for a couple of days. So welcome to the channel. Welcome to Friends of the Feather. If you're new, um, oh, well, <laughs> you guys, you guys knocked over your water bucket. Well, that's just silly of you. I was down here seriously like an hour ago. And this, oh, well, goodness. Had a collision going on. Now, I don't think we need to be getting a little personal there. We'll get that. Get you a refill. How's that? Yeah. It's like the bottomless fries at Applebee's. Except it's water. So, congratulations. Um, yeah, well, um, thank you, 115 <laughs> subscribers. I really greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you enjoy what I'm doing. It's, uh, it's uh, so much fun. I just have so much fun with it, and it, it just, it just tickles me pink to know that there are people out there that are interested. That's just so funny, and, and so cool, and thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, so it's uh, Saturday sum up. We're uh, summing up the week. We did our little summary of what happened this week. Of course, we had our first egg from our superstar right over here. Uh, there was a lot, a whole lot of clucking going on today. I thought for sure that we were going to have another one. There was the the giddy egg, the egg, the egg cry, or the the, the egg song. Yeah, there the eggs, the egg song. Um, that was going on, but no, no dice, unless it's somewhere hidden. I don't know where it could possibly be, but I don't, I did not see an egg. And Falco, you need to get to work because you are a condor and I need to see a condor egg. Um, so yeah, we had our first egg. Um, we, we installed the swing. We installed the, the feeder, the hanging feeders. So everybody's happy over there. They do not like the oats. They eat everything out of the layer feed except for the oats. They don't like them at all. So um, I've already got like <laughs> over a hundred pounds of this food mixed up. So they're just gonna have to suck it up and eat some oats because uh, yeah, but they, they're not eating it. Oh, well goodness, parabola, no need for that. Silly chickens, man, they are, they're having a time, let me tell you. Um, so in the future, we are going to be leaving um, Wednesday, I think, um, to head to Mississippi to visit a fellow friend of the feather, a, fr a family member of the friend of the feather, 
and then uh, we are going to be heading from Mississippi to Texas so we will be gone for a while I'm going to try to post a video at least once a day of the the friends that I run into on along the way because it's always a fun time we drive so I enjoy it it's an adventure I always had a very adventurous spirit like as soon as I as soon as I was old enough to understand how things worked I wanted to learn everything and I wanted to see and do everything so um, when I started like when I started driving is when it really was that's when it really got crazy I drove everywhere I wanted I, I had I never went out west for some reason I stayed I stuck with the East Coast Florida uh, all over West Virginia obviously but um, so that's what what's going to be happening in the next week and then when we come back um, it will there will be a whole lot of shaking going on um, I will be moving these six I'm, I'm taking the the Frenchies with them I'm moving these six into the big coop so everyone will be integrated um, because at that point the ones that are in the run will be 16 weeks um, and I don't know how old the Favrils are but I think that they're pretty close they're probably around the same age if not maybe like a week behind um, so I, I think they'll be all right and I'm so I'm gonna I'm gonna put them in and we're gonna see what happens now I've had my eye on Laddie over here because if you'll notice the waddle is getting awfully long on Laddie so I've got my wonderings as to whether that's a rooster or not the comb is really getting pronounced the waddle is dropping I don't know guys looking a bit looking a bit roostery to me but see they're pretty cool with each other so I don't know let's watch let's observe hmm see fiddle, uh, fiddle the rooster leaves the, the the little chickens alone he doesn't he doesn't try to mess with them and I think that's why poor Faddle gets the brunt of it Poor Faddle gets the brunt of the abuse, and, and Falco has started taking it too, so, um, but the, but she, he doesn't seem to bother the little chickens. I think that he, he understands that they're just too small. I think he gets that. Um, so hopefully when we come back, there'll be lots of eggs to enjoy because they're good. Um, I, we did the taste test. Honestly, they, I could taste no difference. Um, maybe with a little bit of salt it would have made a difference but I feel more comfortable eating my own eggs because I know where they came from and I know what process they've been through so um, I'm I'm much happier with that than store-bought eggs um, let's see so we're going to integrate the integrate the coops when I when we come back um, and I'm going to build an enclosure for the quails that's going to be inside Cluckersburg because they will be let's see they'll be almost five weeks old when we come back so they, they, they'll be laying eggs like if, if there's any curls I think we have several boys in there uh, there's at least two there's at least two boys I'm thinking two or three because they do this little call and I'm thinking that I hear that call like simultaneously sometimes so I think that uh, I think that they might be I think there might be about three boys in there. Hopefully, no more than that. I would like to have, at least have one or two hens, um, which would be pretty cool. But uh, so we're going to be doing uh, a quail enclosure, and those are the immediate when we come back plans. Um, and then after that, I'm going to look at. Um, Caternix quails because I have these kennels that I'll be using for other other means so I'm thinking that I might do Caternix quails button quails and rabbits and I think that'll complete my my uh, animal hoarding need hopefully so um, yeah that's the future plans and uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, tomorrow is something, something, something Sunday. 
So we'll be discussing um, something on tomorrow's episode. I'll figure out something to talk about and we'll have fun talking about it and um, it'll be a great time. Uh, please do comment below where you're from. If you're a new subscriber, please, 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 I would love to know where you're from. I would love to know why you subscribed, what you like about the channel. I would really like to do um, <clears throat> some more focused things. Retro Collector, I know you like to comment a lot and I do appreciate your input. Um, I really do. I mean, I, I really, really do. And I, I try to uh, draw from those um, and to try to come up with, uh, with stuff to keep people interested and, and uh, to keep the friendships flowing. All right, everyone. Thank you again. I hope you've made it this far. Everybody have a great Memorial Day weekend. Be careful out there. Um, you know, honor those that we've that have passed. Um, please don't drink and drive. Just don't drink. It's bad for you. It's really, really bad for you. I mean, you know, a, a few here and there is all right, but drinking to excess, you know, too much of anything is not really good. So. Unless it's eggs. It's alright to have too many eggs, Falco. It's alright. Alright, everyone. Have a good night. Thanks again.